Hey folks, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. We are here today for an amazing event at Mid-Ohio Road Course. Looking forward to it. We don't have a road course car, but we're going to take the car that gives us the best chance to get out there and put down a top 15 because that's what we need for the next three straight races. So, um, obviously they're shorter laps, or not shorter laps, but less laps, but that's also because it's a longer track, much longer track. So, let me go ahead, set up my work plan, and I will talk to you guys in just a moment. All right, so we're actually going to use the short track car because our speedway car will then be ready for the next race. Our short track car is not going to be as good overall, but I don't care. I think we can kind of make up for it with our own skills on the uh road course so we're gonna select that car it's only one point lower although the suspension is two points lower it's gonna have to do because i want to have a better car for michigan in the next race oh i hit the wrong button that's not what i wanted all right well um crap hold on i'm gonna leave the car the way it is i uh, <laughs> I really didn't get any practice in. That sucks. All right, here we go. Qualifying lap now underway. Best thing I can do is just talk through what I do here. And first, I'm normally in fourth gear, so I already screwed up turn one. But we hit the brakes before the bridge or the walkway. Here we get on the brakes at right before the 200 meter mark or the 200 foot mark, whatever it is. Try to... Try to carry it around, get on the gas as early as possible without spinning the back tires. Get up through your gears, down the straights. Now I'm paying attention to the wall on the left because right before it changes, I'm back on the brakes. Downshifting into second, back into the turn. Now these patches are kind of my marks, uh, the patches on the road, so it exits there. We're back on the gas. We're back on the brake here for this patch. Back on the gas. Off the gas, not on the brakes, just off the gas so that we're not sending it too much through. Then back on the brakes through this area to make sure that we don't overdrive it. Back on the gas every time you exit the turn. Gonna get up into the third gear right at that first marker. I get back on the brakes. Drive it down, back on the brakes before you start to turn. Hanging it out, kind of riding the brake on the gas. Feathering it all. Try to get back on the gas here, gunning through it. And uh, it's a terrible lap. So that's not how you race the... No, just kidding. It was about as good as we could do with what we have. We got a 79 overall. And uh, I didn't get a lot of practice in. So I didn't get to perfect what I just explained during the qualifying lap. Top five, Justin Allgaier, Sam Mayer, Anthony Alfredo, Brennan Poole, and Matt Kenseth. Getting into your custom drivers, we did place the highest. Then we have Egan, Jones, Oliveira, Shieldhouse, Cost, Perez, and Carpenter between 22nd and 28th. Chavez, Lane, Graham, Malone, Norton, Smith, Bethel, and Kane round out the rest of your 36 in the field we've got our work cut out for us we need a top 15 or we lose out on our extra money so we've got to get five spots but then we have to also maintain it and not cause issues with ourselves or with other cars on the track should be an interesting one A little bit of information before the race. Daniel Hemrick goes to the back of the pack. Sammy Smith follows him. Different reasons. Same result. And Justin Allgaier wins the pole. Looking to get a road course with win today here at Mid-Ohio. Coming to the green. Driver. Yes. Ready. Green, green, green. Left side. Give me just a second here to get through the gears before I start to do other things. Oh, perfect. Cold tires. They don't slow you down going through that turn very well, but we got lucky and didn't lose it all the way. Lucky is kind of a relative word there, because here we are. Oh, getting on the brakes hard to avoid running through Olivier, and then we bump into him, but no big deal. Side by side racing early here in the road course race. That's how it goes. We have to do what we can to try 
to um, just kind of maintain during the side-by-side -side portion. Everybody will calm down pretty soon here, and then we'll be okay. And then during this whole course of only 38 laps, we're going to be trying to figure out how we can drive better than some of these other cars, really. I was able to stick up with Greg Galding, but now I see he's just a few spots in front of us from here, so it's not like it was a great feat for me to do that in the two practice laps I did get before I accidentally advanced it. I'm driving away from the group behind us, but the group in front of us is driving away from us, so that's not exactly great for us at this point. And this is where I need to figure out what can I do to try to eke out just a little bit better time through what turns can I do that with. And, uh, and I'm not sure yet, but I think we can out break a couple of the turns and we'll be okay. Maybe. If we did all right there is we're catching up to John Hunter. Try to sneak on his inside, take that spot from him, get on the gas so we're not going to lose it back to him. A little slippery getting out of that corner, but we managed. Up into 18th place, just three places out of where we have to be. I think we can do it. Just trying to figure it out. Tried to figure everything out yet since we didn't really get much practice, which it's always even more fun when you're trying to do this with cars on the track with you. Ryan Truex sitting on our inside or our left side, considering we're on a road course, but we got, uh, who was that? Because I saw some smoke in front of us. But nobody in front of us is pitting. What about behind us? I don't know what happened there, but we're staying out, of course. Here we go. Back on it. Trying to keep this car. Even though the tires aren't cold, it's still not as gripped up as I want them to be as we start restart. And I think that this turn is probably the best chance for me to get positions. We're going to come out of it right next to Jeffrey Earnhardt. Get up through the gears. We're not as good at this upcoming turn, so I got to figure that out. But I'd rather be safe than, uh, you know, sorry with it. See, they, I don't know how they do that. They slow down at the very last second. They slow way down and it just doesn't work for me that way. More cars in the grass or in the dirt there. Oh yeah, I probably should have upshifted there. Whoops. That's gonna be costly. We got Galding on my right side now. Right side. All right, you're clear then. Cole Custer here as well. Clear right. I don't want to give that up at all. Just looking to see what I can possibly do to put Galding in the spot that what the crap was that Galding runs us completely off the track he's not even a rival or anything just did not care that we were there and that's gonna just fluster me enough to screw up that part and now we're back in 16th gonna be 17th 18th maybe 19th all right well that's, that's okay that's all fantastic it's all fantastic we'll be all right We had a better drive off than John Hunter here, so get back up to 16th. But how do we, you know, I got to catch Austin Hill and Cole Custer. All right, you're clear there. Left side. I think I did better that time around that turn. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear there. Yeah, we did better there for sure. Not a big fan of running up on the rumble strips, but I'll do it. I'll do it. I also have to keep in mind that my spot to get those positions is 
turn two. So just maintain or stay as close as I can to him through the rest of the course. And try to catch him in turn two. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Do better than we did the last time through this set of turn or this turn. We're smoking him every time. I don't understand why. I'm not really touching the brake much at all. It's all right, but this is going to be the big spot for me. Can I catch him on the inside? Yes, I can. And then hang on to it and drive off well. A little wide, but we got the position, which is what mattered to me. No mistakes. We've already made mistakes, and that was one of the big things. One of the big check marks to our success in this race is to not have mistakes and... As we drive more laps, of course, we get better at what we're doing here, but it still matters that we don't make mistakes and don't cause issues. Now, the last time we raced here, late in the race, we started to have problems with that turn there, that over the hill left turn. Car does get light, and it can, uh, it just, you can lose it if you get on the gas a little too early, you'll definitely lose it, and... That was sort of what I had done a couple times in that last race, so we're trying not to replicate that either, as I recall. That was probably one of my bigger challenges. We were in a better car than we are today, so... Dang, that wasn't good. Whoa, get on it. Looks like Gary Norton out of the race. Sorry to hear it. He was the one that uh, had the issues. See if I can do better now. I really messed up the last turn. Whoa. People are pitting, so we'll pit, but I'm surprised. Well, of course, I'll have no idea who the problem was then. Well, we lose three spots, so we got to figure out how to get those back in a hurry. Obviously, I need a moment to get through this whole area without much of an issue. Still there? I was in a lot of contact. All right, it was fine. Truex followed us, so whatever. It's definitely our spot where we are able to break through it better than them. Careful, still there. Three wide now. We got a little better at that turn, right. but not much. Left side. Left side See, I can't get too excited knowing I'm side by side with somebody. I had to be real easy on the gas there. That could have been a very bad situation. We got it figured out though. I know we got Galding who ran us off the road earlier right to our or on our left side. I was saying right to our left side, but that came out weird, so. I will not be bullied. Just kidding, I might get bullied. I don't know. We'll see how he does it. Oh, suck it, loser. Well that was bad. Got lucky. Got lucky there. Can I catch up to the back in front of us with uh yeah, can I catch up to the back in front of us with turn number two? We're about to find out right now. Not really. Kind of, but more importantly, we kind of drove away from the cars behind us. Alfredo takes it from Greg Galding on the inside of that turn number two, so that was cool for right him. Probably out of mission to catch us. I don't blame him. Enjoy the sounds of NASCAR. 
as I'm just trying to focus my best through these sets of turns. Alfredo, much better car than us. I looked in the rear view at the last second. He's going to sneak on the inside. Galding here again. He's going to get us. I think we definitely have a 15th place car. I'm not sure how much more we have than that, but I'm learning from these drivers as well. A little bit out there braking and stuff, so I feel like I can outbreak that turn, but not this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Haley. Justin Haley just saved us from spinning out. I'm having some problems going through that set of turns, and I'm almost thinking about I want to shift to uh, third gear. Hmm, interesting. Upshift again is to not have too much spin in those wheels coming out of turn number two. We got a smoker in front of us. It's Sam Mayer. Is that going to bring out another caution? I don't know, but it's a free spot. Whoa. I felt like I was trying. I was staying next to Haley through that set of turns and it just everything went awry, but we're all right for now, I guess. Worst thing I can do now is lose my focus, though, and start to screw up the rest of this sequence. So we're going to just do the best we can. Got to do what I have to do to get myself into the best position possible. And if that means, you know, we screw up a little bit and then we correct it as to not as to mitigate the damage of what we're doing, then that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it in third gear through this section now and see if it's going to help us. And it did. That's the answer for me. I got to keep it in third. A little bit of Thunderfoot puts that whole thing in jeopardy every time. And that I should be shifting up to fourth there. So that was dumb. All right, we're fine. We got Sammy Smith and Ryan Truex there and they could absolutely catch us. I'm going to drop it down. Then I'm going to upshift. I just wanted to use it to slow down a little bit more through the gears. Uh, Justin Haley is right in front of us. Two and a half seconds. Hopefully, we'll kind of get into our own little bubble and just be able to knock out some laps. The nice thing about a road course is when you're on your, in your own little bob... Ugh, how about we learn how to speak? When you're in your own little bubble... You are still racing the track, so it's okay to, uh, on a road course, it's kind of still exciting regardless. You still are constantly hitting your points, still constantly trying to do whatever you can do to catch better laps and obviously keep the cars behind you at bay. Sammy Smith catching up to us. Not a great experience. I do feel a little bit stressed maybe is the word for it i'm not sure but i'm definitely having some nerves going through this whole thing trying to keep it trying to keep it well we did a better set of turns through there though as we gained four tenths on him or make him, i'm not we didn't gain him we put him down an extra four tenths goal here I'm gonna just keep it in second this time and just try to yeah, get on the get on it a little better and that really worked out for us as now we got Sammy Smith 1.6 seconds behind us and counting what I'd like to be able to do more importantly is just not screw up this turn this time there we go much better although not great he's still three sec or gain three four tenths on us there so i don't understand that oh we definitely did a whole better section after that though and that was great that whole section we do really well Get more rotation in the car by dropping it a gear there, but we'll 
shift up early through this section and yeah we got we're driving away from the cars behind us so that's great how long i don't know but at least we're going to continue to do the best that we can right meow and we're kind of gaining a little bit on justin haley actually so that's a big deal question is can i hang on to it through this area yeah yes i can car felt real light going through that set of, or turn two, eh, through turn two i cannot talk today it's all right i'm racing that's all that matters try not even to touch the brakes there anymore Touch the brakes here, though. Little pump. Car feels good. Obviously, we're doing all right now that we've kind of settled in some. Haley isn't really driving away from us anymore, so that's cool. Could be worse, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I downshift to help rotate and then I upshift before I start accelerating and that's stopping me from losing the front or the back end I should say oh wow we got a 27.5 127.5 that's pretty good we're obviously improving and right as I say that ah oh we only had three left in the tank wow all right oh because you only get eight all right well good news we uh we're doing much better so I feel pretty good we lose three spots again. We had two seconds of damage on the car. Not really sure what that was all about, all but right, whatever. Hard out there. Going green. Ready. Hammer down. Green down. Left side. We're going to do a speed up through this uh, time, through this fuel run. I want to focus. I don't know what it wasn't me that brought out the caution obviously i got back on the track but we run that thing the same time every time and out of nowhere we just went off the track it was kind of weird the good news this time we only lost two spots we're going green ready green 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 right side i thought that going three wide into turn one was a great idea How's he gonna say I was clear left when I was right up against Austin Hill? That makes no sense, but okay. Here we go. See if I can scam some positions and hold him off. We didn't really have a good run, that fuel run, but it wasn't terrible. I was getting into the flow of it. I still can't figure out the braking here. Oh, we got really loose when I did that. Holy crap, that was bad. Emmerich's going to not be happy with us after this race. I just almost ran him off the track.
Ah. Get on it. Get on. We got fresh tires, but they're still a little cold. Oh, this isn't where I want to be. I mean, it's fine, but it'll be all right, I guess. From the inside. So that's something. Wow. A lot of contact. A lot of contact. Just 10 laps left in this one. It's been a race. I'll say that. We've maintained up in the top 15 for most of it. So that's good. That's the only thing that matters is that we finish in the top 15. Hey, it's Justin Haley. We were gaining on him, so I feel like we can catch him. Left side. See, this is the thing, though. Like, I don't know. I know I was going to lose it. I looked up or lose the position. I looked up in my rear view right as I started to brake there. I feel like if I'm not hard on the brakes through that area, though, uh, I'm, I'm being stupid right now. Get it together. Anyway, I feel like if I'm not hard on the brakes through that area, we're going to totally ruin the, co the corner. But if I am hard on the brakes, they just go flying past me because for some reason they have super grip or super brakes or both. Gotten a little better at that. Gotten a little bit better at that as we're gonna pull away from Custer quite a bit there. Pump the brakes a little there as I mess that up. If I can do this, use this to catch back up to these two and not lose it off the track. Oh, it gripped up at the very last second. That was important. I slid the crap out of the tires, though, so that might not be wonderful in the future. We'll find out. Also, driving off the track and getting dirt on my tires, not great. I don't know. We do all right there, but... Like, they're not getting away from us. Of course, Brennan Poole is right here. Holy crap, where did he come from? Oh, never once have I gotten loose coming or light coming off of that even though it seems like I should have I've kind of been able to drive it like that the whole time it didn't work that time that was almost the end of our race yeah man every time I touch the brakes now the car is pulling hard we didn't have that much contact with anybody what's up it feels very different this run sadly this run Dang, dude. Hold on. This run is not, uh, we don't have enough to get us through it. What is up with my braking all of a sudden? And we're not going to get, uh, we're just going to get fuel when we pit. Maybe I need to cool off my tires. Maybe that's the whole problem. Or even if they're not over hot, I'm... Wow, wrong button. How did I, I never has my shift been that button and yet I click it's the pedal shifters on my thing. Whatever. That was stupid. Oh, all right. Bring it, bring it, reel it in right now. Reel it in. This is what happens. Not even that many laps. I mean, there are, but. It's not that bad. We're going to get Hemrick and maybe Custer through turn two. If I do it well, I should be able to do it. I might be able to mess around with Hemrick right through this area and get a good runoff. Nah. I mean, it was good as far as we didn't 
he's not driving away from us right now, but. Yeah, we're working it, don't worry. Because I'd like to get him before the turn and then be able to outbreak Custer. It's not going to happen. He's going to dip right in front of me. But we might have a better runoff than him. Ooh. Side by side racing. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, come on. Did you see that? That was pretty awesome. We're going to do a full pit stop, whatever. I actually did the braking right through that section. Of course, we lose three spots again. It's got to do actually with the fact that these drivers in front of us have the top tier pit crews as well. So it's all right. We know what we can do. Do they? More laps left in this one. Yeah, we can drive it right off the track going into turn one. Come on now. I can't do much here, but try to be right on Custer coming out. Because this is going to be a little dicey coming up here. This is going to be a little bit dicey. Careful. Still there. Wide side. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Three wide through this area. That's what we want. Clear right. We got touched by Alfredo. I got pushed off the track by Alfredo there. That's what happened right there. Ah, no, 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 turn. Oh my goodness, what did I just do there? We're about to have three laps to make up four spots. Ooh, calm it down, man. I'd like to be coming out through the inside when I drive out of here. Oh, wow. Same exact line as a normal person would take, so we ran right into him. It's all right. Be a little less commentary during this time as I'm trying to get my positions back. Bear with me and my cycle driving for these last four laps or three laps now. We're caught up to this pack, which is really big for turn two. Stay right, please. You got room. You're clear that. We're back in fifteenth. Trying my best to drive the absolute dickens out of this car. Come on, Alfredo, let us in. Thanks, buddy. You owed us. I don't. He's going to go wide here. Yeah, that one was good. That was better. I tried to follow them. I think with 
like another race here, I'd be doing much better if it was soon, but it won't be, so we'll forget everything we learned here. Okay, Haley, well, that wasn't... Sorry, man, we're just, we're driving. That wasn't bad. We're all right here with this. Galding! Come on, Galding! No! You mother brother. Come on now. That's the second time Galding was there. We got to get one spot to get our 15th. But that's just ridiculous. Got to hit our marks and we'll come home with the top 15. Also, though, I would love to freaking bust ass and get around Galding. Because that makes me mad. That's so stupid. That was good though. 96. Apparently we drove the hell out of it, huh? Still though, you know, it just, you look for, we could have got, I mean, uh, I don't know. 11th place, maybe who knows top five. Hey, Ryan Ellis takes home another victory. I did upgrade the, um, driver's high line driving by the way. So it's still pretty much though. Everyone's got the same, not pretty much every, all the AI drivers have the same rating. The um, subscriber drivers don't anymore. They've had a chance to upgrade their drivers. And so what you're seeing are those upgrades. Not going to really, not too many people did upgrades for the road courses, but you should see a little bit more of a separation now between those drivers. Anyway, Brandon Jones second, Jeffrey Earnhardt third, Dale Earnhardt Jr. fourth, Josh Berry fifth. I was the highest rated subscriber driver there coming out in 15th. Looks like Parker Smith, Michael Chavez, John Perez, and Lane were 21st through 24th. Kane, Cost, Egan, Shieldhouse, Graham, Bethel, Jones, Malone, Carpenter, and Oliviero were your 25th through 34th. Sam, Mayer, well, it looks like actually Carpenter, Oliviera, Mayer, and Norton DNF'd. So, unfortunate day for all of those drivers. Dale Earnhardt Jr. had your fastest lap of the race. Justin Allgaier led the most laps. He was your pole winner. Daniel Hemrick started in last and finished in the top 10. Congratulations. Sam Mayer started second, finished 35th. Well, I tell you what, shockingly, we didn't get any angry messages from people. However, I'm going to check real quick to see if people are uh, still doing pretty good with us. Looks good there, there. Cost is still mad, but not worse than that. Wow. Yeah, everyone is a friend or kind except for Cost, so that's pretty awesome. Don't know why Cost is so mad, but we'll uh, keep driving clean around him and hope that that relationship improves. Aside from that, folks, we've got Michigan up next. And uh, things are just moving along. We got a big, big track at Michigan. That's nice. We got our top 15. So that $85,000 payout is still in play. And what we have right here is Michigan and then Iowa short track. So I'm going to have to put everything I can before Michigan into the short track car. And then after Michigan in the short track car, hopefully we'll be able to put together a good short track car for that Iowa race coming up after Michigan. But folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I would like to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.